Greetings, unboxing friends. It's another month and it's another Hackerbox from Hackerboxes.com. I don't get paid for this endorsement. I'm neither endorsing nor not endorsing this. I just subscribe to Hackerboxes and I thought it would be interesting to unbox these as I get them. This is Hackerbox number 0039, Level Up. So I suspect it has something to do with video games. Uh, or level shifters. Um, it's heavier than, uh, than usual, or at least it seems to be heavier to me. Let's see what's inside. All right, we've got another USB cable. I think I got one from the previous hacker box. All right, interesting. Here's a bunch of little um, um, terminals for not banana plugs. No, just wires. So that's interesting. And we've got uh, what appears to be a USB breakout. Nice. I could possibly use that. And we've got a USB thingaling. What's in it? What is it? I don't know. Focus. It uh, is transparent and it says RDX on it. Um, not sure what it is but you can plug it in to a USB port. Nothing on the side. Am I missing anything? No, nothing. I don't know what it is. Uh, some of you probably do know what it is. Um, yeah, I'm kind of loath to just plug random things into my computer, but I don't know, I trust hacker boxes. Okay, uh, here we have a 3D printed case of some kind. And, ooh, what's this? Okay. So far, I don't know uh, what level up is referring to at this point. Oh, that's kind of neat. It's a uh, it's got an LCD on it. Uh, it says winners, ground V out, ground V in. And are there buttons? Yeah. So I suspect that this is one of those boards where um, it's just basically a a simple like you know lab thing with a little LCD display. So it's probably a voltage um, generator, maybe. Doot, 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 doot. We can plug this in and see. Um, what else? Wow, lots of boards here. Hmm, interesting. Um, is this for a power supply, maybe? Plug the power supply in, you get plus and minus 12, five volts and 3.3 volts. Um, yeah, it looks like you would you would plug in like an ATX power supply to this. I have one. I have this. I really like this one a lot. Uh, this one is from Dangerous Prototypes. It's got these um, terminal um, terminals that you can put banana plugs into. Um, it's got this neat little button which I like. Um, it's got fuses on every output. So does this, but these are kind of these big glass ones. Um, of course, you can always replace them. Uh, so, and it's got uh, LEDs. There's uh, an LED for mains on, power good. And I think there's an LED for each one of the power supplies. Um, and this one also has minus five volts if your power supply does provide minus five volts. So I really, really like this and I highly suggest these. Um, because you can just get, you know, ATX power supplies from, from junk and just plug it in and then you've got a nice power supply. But, you know, that's this and I guess that's what these go with. So, um, yeah, I don't know if I'll be using this really. But it's a neat thing if you don't, if you didn't have this. Got a bunch of resistors, got a bunch of LEDs, got a bunch of transistors and a bunch of buttons. I smell a kit. Oh, neat. Got a challenge coin. Novus Ordo Technica. A new technical order. Okay, nice. Hacker box, challenge coin. Um, weird. Nano SIM adapters. Okay. All right. Um, oh, that's kind of neat. 
um, D, um, RTL, um, yeah, RTL uh, gates. That's kind of cool. Oh, neat. I like that. Yeah, RTL gates. Um, you basically see these inside 7400 series chips, um, not as inputs or outputs, but sort of like intermediate gates. Uh, that's, that's basically all this is. Um, well, maybe not like this. Usually they're base driven, but um, oh, and it's a uh, hacker boxes uh, PCB also. That's kind of neat. Um, yeah, that's what that kit's all about. Oh, and look, there's also a buffer and an inverter. So you can learn all about RTL logic, resistor transistor logic. That's pretty cool. Um, and you get a, a sticker. Okay, and a Hack Life um, iron on patch. All right, well, that's uh, pretty cool. Um, so, what does level up mean? Well, um, maybe voltage levels, because, you know, each of these has a threshold. So, when you connect one to another one, um, the thresholds are important. And that's what the input and output stages of TTL chips are really for. They're for, you know, making sure that the levels are correct. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of interesting. I still don't know what this thing is. And I still don't know one nano SIM card in all mobile devices. So, uh, so there are nano, oh, I see, okay. So this is, this is just um, a thing that they throw in, uh, you know, so that you can have it. So I guess if you have a nano SIM card, you can turn it into a micro SIM card or a standard SIM card. Or if you have a micro, you can turn it into a standard. So um, it also says free. I hope they got it for free, because really, I honestly don't really see a use for this. Um, but that's just me. Uh, right, so this is the kit for this. This is a voltage output. Let's go ahead and hook this up and see what happens. So I'm going to hook it up to, um, well, it just says V in, and uh, it doesn't actually say what V in should be. I'm going to start, I'll bet it's probably 12 volts, but let's start with five just to, just to be safe. So I have a five volt supply here. There's one wire. And there's my second wire. So now I just need some wires for this. I have a red wire. And I guess I'll be using a purple wire. All right, let's hook this up. So uh, red wire is going to be the, the in. Now I just need a screwdriver. Let's see if this is... Good enough. Nope, too small, too big. That works. You can't tighten these up too much because the only thing holding them on are the solder pads. So yeah, don't, don't apply a lot of torque to this. All right, so this is a fixed five volt supply that I'm hooking up. So I know that I'm not gonna ruin anything. We just make sure the in is connected. All right. Okay, uh, so it's displaying uh, 4.35 volts at 0.1 amp. Um, let's uh, press these buttons, nothing. Okay, well, if I press this button, this thing goes down. If I press this button, this thing goes up. <laughs> It's not very, uh, it's not very quick. Yeah, it, it's like, it doesn't instantly respond. So, you know, your, your typical cheap, you know, somebody decided to, to um, put together a board based around a chip and, you know, wrote a uh, program that doesn't work very well. That's typical for, for these sorts of things. Um, I've got 
you know, you can get like component testers that look like this. Um, what else can you get? Um, you can get uh, electronic loads that look like this, and none of them are fantastic, but you know, they're cheap and they do the job. Uh, I guess this is for this. Let's measure this. Uh, where is my DMM? Where is my voltmeter? What did I do with my voltmeter? Losing one's voltmeter is not a good thing. All right, so it's saying um, 0.37 volts. I, I mean 30, 37 volts. Let's see what my uh, meter says it is. Yep, 3.665. So if I increase this and, and let it choose something, 4.2 volts, close enough. Um, is this a boost buck converter? Let's see if, uh, let's see if it's a boost converter. Wow, I'm pushing this button and nothing's happening. Okay, let's lower the voltage. Nothing is happening. Wow, absolutely nothing is, oh, there it goes. It finally decided to uh, respond. All right. Yeah, it looks like the most that it can do is uh, 4.3 volts based on a 5 volt supply. Um, I'm going to increase the supply because that's how I roll. So I've got my other voltage input here. Uh, this one is outputting 4.8 volts. So it looks like the maximum that we can get out is 4 volts. So let's increase this. Yeah, okay. Let's see what happens if I... Oh, okay. Uh, I think I've reached its limit. Uh, I'm putting in about 9 volts or so, and it's saying 7.7. .7. So that is pro... Oh, wait, I can increase this even more. Okay, now it's increased to 8 volts. Let's see if I can go higher. I can. All right, now it's stopped again. I am putting in 12 volts. Can I increase this? Yeah. Well, that's pretty weird. What a weird little device. I don't know what it, uh, its internal logic is, but it is outputting 10.5 uh, volts. So, all right, it looks like we've got a buck converter a digitally controlled, well, a button controlled buck converter that doesn't respond to button presses very well. <laughs> All right. Well done, whoever you are. Winners. Winners. Would I use this in a pinch? No, I totally would not. Um, for one thing, you need a voltage supply to feed this. I guess a 12 volt uh, voltage supply would do, uh, you know, and I guess that would be something like this. Uh, and then you can hook this up to this uh, to get whatever voltage you want. Me personally, I would just go on eBay and find a, a cheap uh, power supply <laughs> that you can adjust. Um, this is compact though. Uh, and I guess it's uh, outputting what current it is, uh, it is delivering. I suppose I can put a resistor in there and see, but I don't know. I don't want to break this, break this thing. Um, I'm still kind of puzzled as to what this is. All right, so level up apparently means uh, voltage levels. So we've got voltage levels here. We've got, you know, I, I guess kind of voltage levels here. Um, we've got voltage from here that you can get using an ATX power supply. Um, oh, interesting. This one has more pins. Um, I know that there's a difference between ATX power supplies that some of them, some of them will fit on this and some of them won't. So, um, 
I don't know if one is compatible with the other. It looks like it is. Uh, there are different shapes to these pins and the shapes seem to align like this. So I guess you wouldn't plug in this part. I don't know. So, and you know, one of these things, again, I still don't know what this is. I'm really puzzled, but I'm honestly, I'm not puzzled enough to plug it in because I am not in the habit of plugging USB devices into, into my computers when I don't know what that USB device is. I'm sure it's fine. Ah, is this an SD card reader? There's a slot. Let's see if I can find an SD card. Yeah, okay, well, I've got this, uh, and that doesn't fit in here, so is it a micro card? Okay, I don't know what this is. Um, so it's not an SD card reader. I could probably take a picture of this and do a Google image search. But I'd kind of like to puzzle out what it is on my own. Um, okay, so they did include these SIM card things, but why would, does this take a micro SIM? Well, I guess I'm going to open this up and find out. Where's my razor blade? Razor blades are the most useful thing that you can own, or one of the most useful things, because you can pretty much open everything with it. That's weird. Where did this come from? Um, yeah, you can pretty much open, you know, boxes and bags and, you know, all sorts of stuff. Here we go. It was lying right here. Um... Well, let's take a look. Apparently there's a little piece of tape here, holding it on. Nope, this is just a holder. Um, does the holder go in here? It kind of doesn't. Maybe it goes in this way. It is a SIM card holder. In fact, if you put it in this way, if you put it in this way, it looks like, yep, that's the way it goes. So this is a, I still don't know what it is. Well, I mean, if, it, if it's got a SIM card holder, then presumably this is to connect your computer to a wireless, um, to a mobile network, I guess, I suppose. Um, okay, that is kind of uh, interesting and perhaps somewhat useful if you don't have internet access. Um, you just pop your SIM card in here, pop that into here if you dare this isn't going in very well. Um, but anyway, oh, it's it's already it's already kind of cracked. Anyway, you pop your SIM card into there, and presumably you get access. It's kind of a low chip count. I wonder what these chips are. Did they rub? Did they rub off the numbers? I think they did. So I don't know what this is. Well, anyway, that is hacker box number seven, number 39, level up.